I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I feel like denim is the most complicated, uncomplicated thing in the world. There's different washes, there's different dyes, there's samphires, there's all these different things. And today I wanna to try to make that a little bit easier. Welcome to my channel, my name is James and I like clothes and well-made things. And today we are going to wash two pairs of jeans. My Levi's 501, these ones right here are the 1971 shrink to fit Levi's 501s. These are a part of the LVC collection and these are a Cones Mill denim. And then I've got my Levi's 501 1953, these are the 501Z, and these are gonna be a regular raw denim. Today I wanna go over whether washing them in the machine or washing them by hand is really gonna change them after they at least have one wash. Let's get into it. So any pair of denim that you wanna do, you wanna make sure that they're uncuffed and inside out. That way you're not gonna mess with the fades too much. And then these do have one wash obviously, so there is already that kind of one wash feel. Put them in by themselves. We'll do cold wash, so it'll be cold water as slow as I can. Do a light soil. We're gonna grab a slight amount of detergent. There are special detergents that you can use. I don't necessarily see the need to do that. So they're officially in the washing machine. We'll see if I screwed them up or not, and then we'll, let's get on to the soak, and we'll check everything out in the morning. So now we're gonna do our soak. These are the Levi's 501. These are the Cones Mill. I didn't wanna do those in the washing machine just in case I did screw it up for some reason. So make sure you check out the video right here if you wanna know like a proper tub soak. Once they're dry and everything like that, we'll see how it goes and we'll go from there. Excuse me, excuse me. So the bathtub wash is done. We'll see how these look tomorrow morning. The bathtub is now absolutely blue, so I'll have to do that and clean that before Victoria gets back. But I'm excited to see how this goes in comparing to the wash. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So these are done. These were on a cold wash, but they actually look like they shrank quite a bit more than I expected. So uh, I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to wear these. <laughs> Wish me luck and we'll uh, do the hang dry and we'll go from there. So both pairs of pants are drying. We'll check in tomorrow, see how they dry and see what they look like. This may take two days, so I may see in a few days. But uh, one pair has actually shrunk a lot more than I expected. I don't know if that's because I wash them regularly or both of them were on cold water, so we'll see. I'm, I'm a little concerned, but we'll see where it goes. I'll see you soon, goodbye. So it's been like two days, these have been drying and they're now officially dry. So let's get into like the differences of the soak versus just a regular machine wash. And I'm kind of surprised there's not a huge amount different, but uh, let's start with the 1954s. The one thing that I have noticed with the 1954s is they've actually shrunk a lot more than I thought, which is really interesting because I did do a cold wash. I think maybe it's the time in the water or it's the spin cycle or something like that. But overall the pants, definitely are like a little bit tighter. You can definitely tell by the size of the pants that they've uh, shrunk a little bit. And overall, there's just a lot less indigo in them. I think the thing that you'll probably notice the most is they've lightened up quite a bit. I'm not saying that they are like super, super light, but what's happening is they've gone from like that raw denim look to more so that blue jeans look. Um, a big thing that I've noticed about these as well is they're definitely more soft. So like behind the legs, where the whiskers would be and stuff like that are gone as well. You can tell like the raw denim is like fully out or like the starch that would be in there is fully out. Obviously there's fading. You can see like light fading of where 
the honeycombs are starting and then where obviously the whiskers have already started. But overall, they're just a lot softer feeling. There is a huge leg twist that I didn't notice last time that I do notice now, so maybe that's part of it too. It is a lot softer. It is definitely more blue than it is that like raw dark indigo and they've shrunk a little bit. I did wash these inside out, so that's definitely something to make sure that you're looking into. And they did have a previous wash and probably about 150 wears before I like threw them in the washing machine. So that is something to think about. Let's get into the Cones Mill 1971 pair. These ones are more what I would expect from just a regular soak or just a little bit of a wash. They're still extremely stiff. You're feeling the starchiness of the raw denim just like you would with the other one. The overall dye hasn't come out. You'll definitely see in the video that a lot of dye did come out. So in comparison to where it was, it's definitely lightened up, but not a huge amount. You're definitely got the leg twist that I think you had originally with these ones as well. But overall, these are just still much more stiff. So my advice, if you're looking to do like a machine wash versus just a regular soak, is kind of figure out what you want your denim to look like over time. I think if you're gonna do a machine wash, then you're probably gonna get more of a faded blue kind of vintage feel. Something that you would see in like a 70s or 80s pair. And if you're looking to do like super high contrast fades and things of that nature, then I would probably go with just doing like a wash and a soak every so often. Often. Um, you're definitely gonna wash your pants more if you're looking for that like kind of vintage fades as opposed to soaking and everything like that much less often if you want like the high contrast fade. But I think we debunked kind of a thing. Just make sure when you're sticking your clothes in the washing machine, you are turning them inside out. You probably do a regular soak first. They've got some wear to them. And then I think you'll be good to go and you won't notice. I have not had any like, um, like spidering. I know that you guys have probably seen that before. I think that's probably because I turned them inside out and I did have wear to them or I at least one washed them by hand before I sent them in the washing machine. But something to think about. Um, I think it's pretty debunked at this point, but we'll see if, uh, if, if anything changes over time. Thank you for coming everyone. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.